Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready to do some reading today? Well, we're continuing our book, Gymnasium is a Soccer Goofball. And today, good readers, you're going to hold on to your ideas by jotting parts where there is trouble. As you're reading, when you notice, uh-oh, you say to yourself, uh-oh, or dun-dun-dun, something's happening, there's a problem here, I sense some trouble, that's when you're going to take out your pencil and you're going to jot down these places and areas where there's trouble. So let's continue reading our book. I think we left off on this page here, and it's okay to reread some of the parts. Oh, yes, Milo interrupted. You can be allergic to anything. For example, I'm allergic to all people named Bobby. <laughs> the whole bus erupted with laughter. I was used to Milo's jokes, but even I chuckled a bit at that one. Reep! Coach blew his whistle again. Settle down, everyone, he shouted. Then he continued calling names. Jenny Manzini! Present, she said. Jeremy Mickelson, asked Coach. Yo, he shouted back. Gymnasium, here, I said, raising my hand. Yeah, you heard him right. The name's Gymnasium. Don't wear it out. With a name like mine, I should be a sports sensation. You know, a real gym class hero. The problem is... I lack some serious game. You've heard that old saying, born with two left feet? Well, I was born with two left feet and two left arms. So did your problem radar, did your trouble radar go off? Mine did. It went, uh-oh, dun-dun-dun, there's a problem here. Okay, and the problem is, if you look back at the text, it says he lacks some serious game. He says he was born with two left feet and two left arms. And what that means is, is when someone is not very coordinated or, you know, if you're, if let's say you were born with two left feet and two left arms, you know, you need the right one to move forward and then the left one and then the right one and left one. But they, it's a saying that when you're born, when you have two left feet, that you're not very coordinated, that you can't dance very well or play soccer very well or walk very easily. Um, so I think this is a problem. I, I want to just read a little bit more to see if maybe we can add a little bit more to our, um, our post-it. That's a real problem in soccer, or any sport for that matter. And I'd know. At this point, I've tried just about every sport on the planet. The result? Well, let's just say I've warmed some very nice benches in my day. But this year is going to be different. This year, I won't be a soccer goofball. I'll be a soccer hotshot. Okay, so I want to show you something. If you're reading on Mayon, you can go to your tools. And if you go over here, see this pin? It says sticky note, right? And you can go over here and you can put a sticky note. And, you know, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you that you can do this. And you can leave it on your Mayon. So, Gymnasium has a problem. He is not very good at sports. Okay, so that's his, that's his problem. That's where we sense, he, we sense some kind of trouble. So, again, I'm going to come back here and I'll write it on my post-it. Okay, he's not very good at sports. And that's what you're going to do today, boys and girls. As you're reading for 20 minutes or more, you're going to be... You're going to turn your trouble and your problem radar on and you're going to see, hmm, where is there trouble? And if there's trouble in your book, 
You'll take a post-it or you'll jot it down in your journal. So boys and girls, when you go back to your Google Slides, you can go on to Mayan, Raz Kids, or Epic. You can start your timer and you can read for 20 minutes or more. And remember to jot down your notes. Okay, boys and girls, have fun. See you tomorrow. Bye.